Oh. Oh. Oh my god. G'day everyone, so we're looking at the KG M40. We've got a pretty nice build for it. This is it here. I'm not going to read all the attachments out. Just pause the video, take a screenshot if you'd like to copy those. And here's all the values that I use. So if I play on controller, you can see all the values there on the left hand side. And using the Zen with the mouse and keyboard, I've got the values there on the right hand side. For the anti recoil, I'm just using standard no matter which way I go, whether controller or mouse and keyboard. But you can see there is a bit of a difference there in the anti recoil values. So for me on controller, 17 vertical, negative 3 horizontal is what worked for me. Now that's what works for me. That's not going to be the same for every single person that uses this script. You uses this weapon. Anti-recoil values will change depending on a lot of different things. I'm not going to go into every single thing, but the anti-recoil values are going to be different for, for most people. So working out for this weapon is extremely easy. Just turn on whichever recoil you want to use, whether that be standard or rumble, and just start turning up that vertical value uh, until you get it to a point where you're happy with it. You can start on maybe one or two, five if you want to, maybe start on 10 for the vertical, and then slowly work your way up. Maybe go from Maybe if you start on five, go from five to seven, or maybe five to 10, 10 to 15, you get the point. All you need to do is keep turning that anti-recoil up until you get it to a point where you're happy with it. And if you want to use some horizontal, because the weapon does go up to the right, you're going to need to put the horizontal values into the negative. And there we go. So there's the attachments and all the settings. If you want to download this script, there's going to be a link in the description. You can get it from there. I also recommend joining the Taylor Drift Discord, which there'll also be a link to that in the description. You can get lots of different anti-recoil values, aim assist values, all the other Taylor Drift scripts and many other things in there. The recoil with this weapon is fairly low to begin with. So it's going to be quite easy for you to work those anti-recoil values out. I'll leave a couple of clips on the screen for you now so you can see what it's like once you have it set up. I'll leave one on the screen there for when I'm using mouse and keyboard with the Zen and also another one for when I'm using controller. So you can see that once you get it set up, it's very good. I don't use any horizontal values when I'm using mouse and keyboard so you can sort of see it drifting to the right a tiny bit but it really doesn't matter when you're getting actual aim assist. You don't spend your entire game running in and shooting walls and everything, you know. So once you shoot at a person and you have aim assist, it is a bit different shooting at a wall. But again, because of the the way the recall is with this weapon it's very easy to work out those anti-recall values if you have any questions about it feel free to ask them in the comments and i'll leave you with some clips of me using this weapon thanks for watching see you next time uh, if you get a picture not i'll reach you you got my hand Oh my god, man. Don't forget to breathe again. Enemy dropping into the AO. 